Hi, I'm Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Cezanne review and try on for you guys. Now, this is a very different video to the one that I shared last week where I talked about how the perfect wardrobe doesn't exist. And if you haven't watched that one, I highly recommend you do. It was a very different style of video for me and I really enjoyed all the discussions that we were able to have in the comments section. I love that you shared your own insights and personal revelations with me and it's given me a lot of food for thought. So I'm gonna leave that linked up in the cards and also down in the description box below. But today, <laughs> this is a little bit more of a frivolous video. Um, as you can tell, I actually embarrassingly purchased way more than I needed to from the Cezanne Spring Collection and I'm definitely deflecting here a little bit with that statement. Um, essentially, I was on the hunt for some really beautiful tops, ones that felt me, uh, maybe had classic elements to them, but felt a step above or elevated or special compared to what I already own. I have a lot of t-shirts, tanks, uh, camisoles, jumpers, etc., which are very plain and there's not much to them. And while I love them as being a building block for my outfit, sometimes you want to have a hero piece. And I have definitely found myself being very drawn to more dramatic styles or at least things that have a little bit more print and playfulness to them. So that's why there's a whole lot of tops here. So we're going to try them all on. Hopefully one or two of them will suit me. It's always hard when you're shopping online. So hopefully with me uh, trying these on it will help you if you've actually had your eye on any of these items um, I will have all my sizing information down below we'll talk about the co fabric composition how that actually uh, affects the way that it sits on your body when it's being worn etc because as we all know the imagery on the Cezanne website while beautiful is absolutely rubbish for being able to tell how something actually fits so I'm going to stop rabbiting on and I'm just going to dive straight into the try on section of this video so I thought we'd start off with an unusual choice for me. This is called the Emmy blouse and it is a 100% cotton blouse with ruffles all over it basically. It has ruffles at the wrist, also around the arm, on the shoulder, and then in the sort of bib style effect across the chest as well. And it was really those ruffles, which is a really pretty feminine detail that I'm drawn to year after year. Uh, even if you go back and watch some of my older videos, you'll know it is something that I really love as an accent feature on many of my items um, that I think really appealed to me about this blouse. I also like the fact that it was 100% cotton and the cotton on it is really lightweight. It's this kind of breezy um, cotton which almost feels wispy and like it's got a lot of movement to it. It's not starchy or stiff at all so it gives it a really nice drape and you kind of get that voluminous sort of effect through the arms where you do have those slightly wider sleeves. I have to say that I was also really drawn to the print. You'll know that I don't tend to have a lot of prints in my wardrobe and I mostly go for the classic so polka dots, stripes, checks, but I can definitely add a ditzy floral to that mix as well to my wheelhouse because I've noticed that it's something that I'm drawn to every single spring summer season and I feel like this one having more of this I would call it an autumn harvest sort of a color scheme to me appeals because I feel like I can also extend its life through autumn as well without it seeming like it's out of place when it comes to my wardrobe. But yeah, I just thought this was a really, really pretty piece. Um, I really like the way it fits. It's got a nice relaxed fit through the body. Um, it's not too tight underneath the arms or anything like that. I think if I went down a size to 34, then it could just be a little bit short in that underarm measurement. And it also has these really pretty little fabric covered buttons as well, both on the cuffs and also at the back of the neck. And it does come in another color as well. I think it comes in a really pretty pink, which would be quite lovely for the spring season if you were looking to add something like this to your closet. Definitely feels very reminiscent of Isabel Moran, but at a much more affordable price point. So the second top that I added to my cart is the Bamba blouse. And again, this feels very Isabel Moran-esque. I mean, I suppose being a Parisian brand, you have those similar influences. Uh, this one is in the Ecru, so it's uh, a slightly off-white and it has this crochet lace detailing to it, both around the cuffs where you've got the little pearl buttons and also around the neckline. And then you also have this really beautiful I guess cut out crochet detailing on the shoulders, along the collar or the bib area of the blouse. And then there's this kind of, I suppose it's like a corded effect on the shoulder too, which is really, really interesting. You also have that here on this paneling detail, this bib collar detail here at the front as well. Um, again, I'm wearing this in the size 36 and would say it fits 
similarly to the uh, Emmy blouse, except there's a little bit more room probably through the, uh, through the body. It does up with these buttons at the back, which I don't find too challenging to do up, but it may be something that you need help with. They're little pearl buttons. I really love the attention to detail here because it just feels very delicate and feminine, which is sort of the overall vibe of this blouse. This is 100% cotton too. And again, it has that really lightweight, kind of a gauzy feel to it. It is semi-sheer, so it's not fully opaque. However, if you're wearing a skin color bra underneath, you shouldn't have any issues because I don't think you can see mine because there's so much going on here anyway. It's sort of going to be disguised by that anyway. Um, and it's not, you know, completely fitted to the body. Um, one thing I will note is that I feel like the sleeves are kind of a little bit longer. So if you are petite, then you're going to end up with a bit more volume through the arm. The quality is really nice because I think that you're getting a piece that is really detailed and that feels really special, which I think when you're spending that kind of money on something, that's exactly what you want out of it, or at least I do anyway. However, this is one that I won't be keeping just as I feel like if I were to pick between these two shirts, I would probably go more for this one, especially because white seems to attract all sorts of mess at the moment in our house, um, especially when it comes to mealtime with our son, if you know you know. <laughs> so the next top that I'm wearing is called the Vahine blouse and this one I have in the 34 because on the website it recommended sizing down if you are in between sizes and you know what I'm going to go against that and just say order your normal size because the armholes on it are a little bit on the tight side on me. This has a bit of a scoop neck detail and then this ruffle which sort of just hangs over around the collar and also goes around the back as well with a little bow. The bow is not attached really or doesn't have any impact on how this ruffled layer sits so you can tie it however you want. You could do it in a knot, in a bow, doesn't really matter. It's sort of up to your own visual discretion. Um, this is a linen cotton mix so again you can kind of see I went for fabrics that would be easy to care for but it has this beautiful almost it's a I would call it a sand colored embroidery all over it and hopefully through the cutaways you'll be able to see just how gorgeous this is up close. Do you know I'm going to say that the cotton linen fabric that they've used I don't particularly love the texture of it and this is just personal preference and I do tend to be a little bit <laughs> of a snob when it comes to fabric. I'm very particular about what I put on my skin because I want to feel really comfortable. You could wear it worn loose which you'll see in the cutaways or you could tuck it in like I have here. It does work best with high-waisted styles because it isn't a very long top or if you're petite then you probably wouldn't have an issue at all. I have a long torso so do keep that in mind. While I think it's a really beautiful top it's not really the one for me because of all this ruffle detail here and there's something I took a gamble on because I know this about me I don't always find that these sorts of styles are very flattering on me so I wanted to give it a go to see if it would work but ultimately in this instance I just feel like it's a bit too much kind of going on here and I feel like the scoop neck is a little bit wider than I would have liked I maybe if the straps were a bit thicker so less of my uh, chest was exposed then I would prefer the way that this looked on me but I think it's, it's really, really lovely otherwise. You've got all those pretty details to it. Um, but as I said earlier, I'm not 100% a fan of the fabric that they've used. It doesn't feel itchy or irritating against my skin. It just doesn't feel as smooth and luxurious as I would like. So yeah, lovely top, but again, one that I'm not gonna be hanging on to. The next item I wanna talk about, I'm not actually going to try on in this video, but I have got some try on clips just because it's a little bit too short for me. Uh, and that's because it is a body. So this is called the Joni body and I've got it in the black in the size small. And it's a really beautiful boat neck, cotton merino. Uh, bodysuit and I've been wanting to get a bodysuit from Zazan for a really long time. My friend Helen here on YouTube and Instagram, I'm going to link down below. If you haven't checked out her channel, you should. Um, she really loves Zazan, a lot of those French brands. She's really exquisite taste. Um, she has a bodysuit from Zazan and I got a little bit inspired to get one because of her because I completely appreciate how practical they are, how they create that really nice, simple, streamlined line down the body when it comes to tucking things in. You aren't constantly adjusting or faffing about and that does appeal to me. However, I have a long torso and I need to remember this so it can be really, really challenging to actually find a bodysuit that works for me and unfortunately that's been the case with this one. It's just too short in the body. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see here on camera but it does have little snaps here at the crotch which is really great if you're going to the bathroom it makes it easy to get on and off. It has a super duper low scoop at the back which I think is really, really sexy. Um, you can't wear a bra with this which is challenging especially if you're wearing it when it's colder. Uh, you'd have to wear nipple 
covers or something like that. I think the detail that really I was most drawn to, aside from the boat neck, which I think is very, very, very flattering, is the little frills at the cuffs. One other thing to note actually about this fabric and being black is that it's going to pick up a lot of fluff. So if this was the right length for my body, I would probably want to return it for a different color anyway, just because I have a ragdoll and his fur gets on everything. So I have to be really mindful about what I do add to my wardrobe from that perspective. Um, I got the size small and it does fit me everywhere else very nicely just too short so um, sadly that one will be going back but it is really really beautiful and if you've been looking at their bodysuits I mean if they're cotton merino it's a really really nice yarn uh, very good for the transitional season so spring autumn if you live in a milder climate like I do then it would be great for winter as well just with a jacket or something like that layered over the top. Okay so as we all know I am an utter knitwear junkie and for some reason I seem to be completely drawn to that section of the Cezanne website despite the fact that I've had many failings with their knitwear in the past but nevertheless I decided to give it another go and I added a couple of knitwear pieces to my order. The first one being the Travis cardigan which I have here in the crew. I'm wearing this in the size small, the 36 again, which is kind of my usual go-to size in Cezanne and would say that it fits true to size on me or at least how it was intended. I do find that most of their cardigans or their knitwear tends to be very boxy. So if you don't like that particular style, then I would recommend potentially looking at the Merino knits that they have in addition to the viscose lensing uh, knits because they tend to be a bit more uh, cut closer to the body, a bit more figure hugging if you know what I mean, rather than boxy and uh, a bit shapeless, I suppose. This has that very typical blues on balloon sleeve effect that you tend to find in a lot of Cezanne's knitwear. Honestly, the thing that really drew me to the style with the details so I love that vintage style crochet effect along the top part of the knit it's not mirrored on the back which you'll see from the cutaways I like the fact that the buttons were fabric covered and then also this very pretty uh, scalloped edging along the neckline this particular knit is 50% merino wool and 50% polyamide which I'm wondering if the reason why was to add a bit of heft to the fabric as merino tends to be a little bit more drapey and doesn't have quite as much structure when you're using it. Um, personally I would have preferred if they'd just done 100% merino because at least then I would know for sure if I laundered it that I wouldn't have any issues because truth be told the knits that I've, that I've laundered from Cezanne which have had polyamide in them have never turned out well and I would recommend getting them dry cleaned which is not an ideal situation because one it is expensive and also it uses chemicals so so yeah definitely something that is a little bit annoying this is a very very heavy weight cardigan it's very warm so if you live in a country where it is already heated up quite a lot then you're going to find this a bit too heavy and a little bit suffocating I mean it's 20 degrees now and keep in mind that it's a cool 20 degrees because it is autumn here in Sydney and I'm feeling really hot wearing this already so more one that I would say is suited to the colder months of the year or if you live in a relatively mild climate or temperate climate where it doesn't get too hot or too cold otherwise I think it's a pretty piece but I do as I said I just wish it was my 100% merino wool I think that would really elevate it make it a lot nicer but otherwise I feel like this is pretty reflective of my personal style at the moment considering I tend to wear a lot of knitwear tucked into jeans or trousers on those cooler days when I'm just lounging around at home and I'm definitely 50-50 on this one. Maybe let me know what you think down in the comment section below. The second knit that I purchased is called the Artie Jumper. This one is 80% cotton and 20% polyamide. And this one is intended to be worn two ways. So you can wear it like I have with the buttons down the front, or you can wear it the other way around with a longer scoop neck in the front and the buttons at the back. And I love that so many of Cezanne's knitwear pieces do have that dual functionality. Well, actually you can wear it three ways because you could also wear it like a pull cardigan or open which is great. I have this on in the size small and it is true to size for a relaxed fit. You have these really tight cuffs here and then again that blues on effect that as I mentioned so many of Cezanne's knitwear pieces have. Now I'm going to tell you up front I really don't like this knit and there's a few reasons why. For one I don't like the way that the actual fabric feels and immediately when I pulled it out of the box it was the first thing that came to mind was it just didn't feel like that nice. As I have mentioned a few times throughout this video I'm quite particular about the fabrics that I wear and while yes technically I would be you know I'd be happy to wear something in this fabric I would live with it it's not my ideal it's not my preferred and because I have an abundance of knits um, it really means that 
any that I do add to my wardrobe, I'm quite discerning of those particular elements or those details about. The other thing is the color. So from the website, I felt like it was more of a navy blue um, as opposed to more of a marine blue, which is definitely what this is. It definitely looks like it's translating well on camera in terms of the true color. Personally, I just don't find that this particular color or this particular tone suits me that well. And it definitely doesn't work with the color palette that I have painstakingly curated over many years in my wardrobe. So it would kind of be one of those items that I wear only be able to wear with certain things as opposed to being able to just pull it out of my closet and then wear it with absolutely anything that I have which is sort of the situation that I've got right now and definitely when you compare it to the other items that I've picked all of those I feel quite easily would slot into my wardrobe without any issues. The other details on this that I think are quite pretty are the fabric cover buttons. You have the scalloping here along the edge and then again along the neckline and you'll note that the knit is slightly different here along the collar than it is through the body of the knit as well. But I just think, I mean, it is pretty and I think otherwise it looks really beautiful on. However, those, those small details are really what make this not a winner for me. So again, sadly, this will be another piece that I'm sending back. And as you can tell, I really haven't had a lot of luck with this order. And that's definitely kind of my experience with Cezanne as a brand overall. And I think when you are shopping any brand, which you can pretty much only shop online because they don't have a retail store here in Australia, you are really going to find that a lot of items are hit or miss. And it will all come down to how a particular item fits on your body and whether or not you like the fabric and the way that it moves. And you can't really understand that or get a sense of it from looking at it online. So hopefully me sharing my experience helps you guys if you've been eyeing up any of these items. Anyway, let's move on to the final piece that I have to share with you. Final pick was the Leah dress, which I suppose would be considered another wild card pick for me. This is in this beautiful leopard print fabric, which I was immediately drawn to when I saw it on the website. For one, I love the color scheme. I think it is really beautiful and actually lends itself really nicely to this time of year. I mean, just imagine this dress with tights and with little booties. I think it would be really, really sweet, especially because our climate here, it's relatively mild. I mean, I said it's 20 degrees today. It was 27 degrees a couple of days ago. So um, Sydney takes a really long time to cool down in the lead up to winter. Um, the fabric of this is really, really heavyweight and thick. It does feel slightly kind of rough the touch however with jacquard fabrics you generally would expect them to be textured and that element isn't touching your skin it is fully lined so feels very very comfortable on otherwise and despite being quite a heavy fabric it has a lot of movement to it which was something that really surprised me this has the v-neck detail with buttons down the front and then you've got a belt here at the waist which is actually quite secure so um, that's really great um, the sleeves obviously are the big key feature of this dress being so voluminous and then you have the ruffles on the shoulder so there's a lot going on because you've got the really loud print and then you've also got the loud design as well. <laughs> I suppose go big or go home, right? Um, I'm wearing this dress in the 34. However, I wish I was wearing it in the 36 just because it feels like I could use a bit more fabric around the bum or the hip area, especially at the very base of the dress where the hem is. You can kind of see, and hopefully it'll uh, be visible from the cutaways, that the hem after the final button, there's a little bit of a gap there and considering that it's quite a short dress as it is it feels almost slightly immodest especially when you're sitting down actually because it does come up a little bit so that's a consideration for me I do like showing off my legs but I think that this particular style is maybe maybe just a little bit on the short side I, I would prefer it if it was slightly longer by an inch or so otherwise I think it was a really special piece and as I said before you could easily easily dress this one up for winter time you could even layer a black or a, a chocolate brown merino, which I recently bought underneath it if you wanted to cover up your arms a little bit. The only thing you'd have to worry about is getting these sleeves into a coat. This uh, particular print does come in a couple of other styles too. There's a jacket and some shorts, so I might link those down below as well because I think if you like this print, but this style is just 
too much for you then those could be really good options instead so there you have it that was kind of a review and a try on of everything that I bought from the Cezanne spring collection um, I will have all of my sizing information as well as all of these items linked in the description box below if you would like to go and check them out and I will maybe try and also do a written review over on my blog as well if you would like to just see some additional photographs of how these items fit on me but thank you so much for watching uh, as I said I hope you found this useful thanks for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.